Hi everyone, it's Rachel with Rachel Super Cute Creations and I'm going to take um, one of the pages from Calico Collage Fairy Garden um, Traveler's Notebook Kit and I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little mini journal, matchbook mini journal. And so it has four pages, um, but it's just real simple to make and I think it's really cute to take and tuck in a tuck spot. Um, so I'm not finished with this journal that I'm going to put it in, but here's one of the pages. And so I could take this and just tuck this in here to make another little mini journal. So I just thought it was really cute. And I thought that, um, you might be interested in learning how to make it. It's simple. You can make it in less than five minutes and it just has a huge, huge impact to your journal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a page. Um, I didn't use all the pages from her kit. So this is a digital kit, as I said, Fairy Gardens. And so all I need is half of this. So I'm taking the page and I'm just cutting it in half. And I have to decide which side I want to be the top. And I think I want this little fairy right here, so I'm going to take this piece and set it to the side. Um, and then I'm just simply going to come down here and fold it. Let me zoom in a little bit. Just going to fold it, and then I'm going to Take the bottom and I'm going to fold it up to make that little matchbook. So that's going to be our closing. Okay. And so from there, I'm just going to make sure that it's trimmed up. I have a, I see, notice a little bit of edge is not quite straight. So I'm just going to square that up. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and make the pages. So from there, I need to figure out how wide is this? So it's approximately four and a quarter wide. So I'm going to make my pages um, about four and an eighth. And this is just rose um, water paper that I'm using. All I did is take some roses that I had gotten from my birthday. And after they were no longer beautiful, I took all the petals and um, cut them, I, I'm sorry, took them off so that I could boil them. And then I boiled them, yep, that looks good. And the water came out this beautiful sort of red color. And I then um, just dipped my paper in it. So it was absolutely gorgeous. So, wow, this is almost, not quite a square, so it's about three and three quarters. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm sorry, you can't see where I'm lining this up. I'm going to go ahead and line it up, cut it. I'm going to check to make sure that these papers are going to fit in here. And they're a little long because when I... I don't want to staple that, so actually, I'm going to go four or three and a half. I think three and a half will be perfect. Yep, that will be perfect. So I want about four pages in there, so I'm just going to cut a couple more. Another set at three and a half. This one actually has the rose petal in it when I baked it. Um, the rose petals baked inside that, so I just thought that was really pretty. All right, so I have four pages here. I'm going to go ahead and move that out of the way. And I am going to line it up on the top like this. Put this in here. Take my stapler and I'm going to just staple right in the center just like that 
And then I'm going to come down here and notice I didn't leave a lot of room, so I have to be very careful about where I staple here. So I'm going to take it and staple right at the edge, and I'm going to do two staples just like that, and I now have my closure for my little notebook. So it's as easy as that, and now we can go ahead and we can decorate it. So I had some bits and pieces of lace left, um, and this journal has a lot of lace, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. So take this, I'm gonna get my tacky glue, just gonna put a little bit of tacky glue on there, but I actually think I might add, what do you think about this gold fabric? Yeah, I want this, some of this gold on here. I used some of this in the journal, and I think, adding this little bit of gold down here is just gonna oh yeah I like that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right over my staples press it down look at that that is so cute and then I'm going to look at what embellishments I have left from the kit. Um, I have a couple of words left. I have Don't Stop Believing, which is on my other little card. So I'm going to see if I have any more words left from the kit. Not sure if I do. Um, I thought I had one that said imagine but I may have already used that so for right now we're just going to add some of this um, lace or I may try to use um, let's see here I have lots and lots of pieces that are left I don't want to add too much because I, I don't want to take away from my cute little girl um, but I actually may add this and let it stick up like a tag. Let's see what that looks like. So if we hooked that on there, no. I think we'll just hook it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add this just like that. I'm going to let it stick up a little bit like that. Uh, have this, um, let me see here, it needs something else, just not sure what yet. Okay, this is one of the tags that comes in her kit but I am not going to use it in that way. I think I'm going to use this I Still Believe in Fairies. So I'm just gonna kind of fussy cut a little bit around this. So that I can add that little bit of dimension. Add that right there. Still believe in fairies. And then lastly, I'm going to get my glitter glue out and I'm going to just make these wings a little sparkly because we know that fairies have lots of sparkle. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and then the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these rhinestones up here at the top with my lace.
All right. And so there is a really quick little mini journal that you can tuck into um, your pages and it just gives you some extra room to journal. So I hope you like that. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the pages of uh, Garden Fairies, please go over to Calico Collage. I'll put the link down below. And I hope that you liked this mini tutorial. Have a great day, everyone.